What's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Jay Simmers and we are back with another build video. So on today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my private clinic that I built um, recently with some of the items that we got from the high school event and also the office opposition. So as you guys can see, I really tried my hardest to make this look as realistic as possible. So out here we have like the sign, some seating area, some plants, walkways, and I just really tried to maximize the space as well as I could have. Also just trying to make the aesthetic of the place just look very professional, modern, sleek, clean, using a lot of whites and cream colors. Um, and overall, I thought that it turned out really, really well. So the name of this clinic is actually Semenity Private. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I did go ahead as well to add some of my sims into this lot so you guys can see exactly what or how this lot is supposed to function. So here we have Justin. He's in the waiting area. So we have uh, the reception slash waiting area in the same space basically so when you are finishing with your services you would come here and you would pay you have like a notice board you also have like a little coffee area um, if you're in there for like an extended period of time um, and of course this is fully functional as you guys can see there is a door so you can access it there um, another feature of this waiting area would probably be the fish tank i found that to be a cool nice feature and i have seen that a lot of in doctor's offices where they have these things um so i thought it would be kind of cool to add one into my build also we have like a water dispenser there and we have another area there where you can just sit and you can wait um for your turn so in this section we or we have the doctor's office so you're gonna enter through this door and over here we have the well what i would call the main examination room in the sense of this is where you would go to see the doctor so this is where all the the action would start this is where she's gonna ask you questions to kind of get a feel of what is um what the issue is and then she will take it from there so in this room here we have a husband and wife and basically the husband is waiting on his wife as you guys can see i put two weight chairs there i thought that to be a cute little addition and very realistic as well and the doctor as you can see here she has all her certificates and calendars and all that good stuff um but she's also on the computer typing up some notes um and getting stuff ready for his wife um, she basically did, I presume this could have been something like maybe like an ultrasound um, that she did. I put like the, the hands controller thing um, here just to make it look as though it's very, it's something that is attached to the chair. I, I would assume it would control the chair. And then we have like the monitor over there. So it's, you know, pretty cool. And then we have the light as well um, that she would use to examine her patients. And then if we go on this side, we have like the cupboard section, which again has some more amenities. She has um, the sink over here and she has more um, just stuff that she would use for her oral um, overall examinations. So that's a pretty cool feature. So this is a pretty cool office. I am very happy with the way that it turned out. And now we're going to make our way back into the the main waiting area and we're gonna go through this hallway and we are gonna be entering at least three different room spaces three or four different room spaces so the first one that I want to show you um, is on this side so this is I would say like the extra room or just a room where I can get a lot of um, things done that you could see like scans maybe you would have like the radiation aspects of it too so yeah so I, I tried my best to put together something that would look as though it's a machine that you're in and you have all these flashing lights and all that good stuff let me take off the lights so that you guys can see what the room looks like without the flashing so this is pretty much um what the room looks like 
all of these lights and monitors are really just meant to have the room looking as uh, professional as technical as possible so we have monitors here as well um we also have this section which i really really enjoyed putting together so in here the idea would be that there would be a worker here and she would be on the computer and she would really be um controlling whatever is happening over here and uh, i put in these things this i think this is an ice cream maker but it, it looks like something that you would put blood samples in so i thought that to be a cool feature um but yeah so this is a cute little mini area we have over here and that to me is very very practical and cute our back we just have like two bins nothing really to talk about um something that i wanted to add as well is a like a mini washroom but it's not exactly just a washroom so we have like the toilet the sink but then we also have a shower because i feel like this is a a private clinic and sometimes you would need to shower especially if a mother brings let's say her baby and her baby has fever you would need to put the baby um in the shower or go into the shower with the baby so we have all of those things um there just for your waiting and for your personal use we also have a photocopying machine so this is what we got from the i think the office opposition um event so that was one of the things that i wanted to use so we did go ahead to put that in the hallway because i think it's very practical um so we're gonna enter into this room right here and uh, I've lost my the, the, the parent that is supposed to be displaying what that room looks like. So let me get her to come back. And you guys can see exactly what I thought about as regards to how this room would function. So um, she's going to get in there now. She's going to wait for her to enter. And basically, we have what you would call... It's like an examination room, but it's also a room where um we deal with babies so we have like all of the files so we have like a, an area for files and stuff um and then this is the doctor here she would be again controlling whatever is happening in the next room um and also making any notes um typing up her information preparing for um the prescriptions whatever maybe we need it so we have all of that going on in this computer system there and then we have the mother this is Crystal and she has, she's the mother of two twins as you guys probably would have known um, just in general from my channel and I recently started my Let's Play with them. So she's here with one of her daughters and she's waiting um, because one of her babies recently got sick and had to be put into special care. <laughs> so yeah, we have two cribs. Let me just see if I can give you guys a better view of this. So we have two cribs in this area. Um, we have this heater thingamajig that <laughs> I think looks as though it's a machine. So I, I would assume that, you know, you can run tests there and um, the babies would basically be hooked up to that, whatever they may need. So it's, it's, it's pretty functional. And again, you can place two babies here if you like. Um, everything is functional, so you guys don't have to worry. If you do have to... Uh, make a replica of this build everything functions as is so i thought that to be pretty cool and i just i love the fact that the mom can like literally sit there and wait with her another her other baby while the doctor is here doing her um her work so i really really loved this room it was the last room that i designed actually because i was really trying so so hard to figure out what i was gonna put there but I'm so happy that I decided to put that. And so that's the the second to last room. This is the last room here. And this is what I would call the laboratory room. Still a room that you would come and you would have a procedure done. But this is also the lab. So as we enter, we have this section here. Um, which again looks as though he is doing some type of procedure. Again, these massage tables just make so 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 well they think they fit perfectly into these type of bills 
um, mainly because they actually look as though you're getting a procedure done in the hospital or a private clinic or whatever. So I really loved that aspect of it. Um, but yeah, so I use these two goose machines to make it look as though it's some high-end machine that you would be doing some expensive tests um, or whatever the procedure would be. You can really use this room for anything, to be honest. I just um, wanted a room that you can do some 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 chemical mixing, you know, because I feel like in every private clinic, you should have at least one lab. So this is the lab, guys. Um, I really, really adore the way that this just came together. Again, we have another one of these ice cream makers <laughs> pretending it's, it's um, holding samples. So she... Um, her job would be more on the laboratory assistant so she would be the one to test all of the the samples and you know do all of that technical stuff so she that's her job she's not a doctor but she is a lab technician um so yeah she she would deal with all of those things and she's also um a major in phlebotomy so Again, she has all of the equipment that she needs to test the blood and for all of the different things that they would do at that clinic. So again, this is just um, something that I really, really enjoyed putting together. You guys, of course, can let me know what you thought in the comments down below. How did I do for my first ever private clinic? I am super, super excited to actually play in this build. I feel like I've built so much things over the past, mm, you could say, a couple of years. And um, this is the first time that I've been super, super excited about a build because I feel like this is something that I've wanted to do for a very long time. But I, because we didn't really have, like, for example, this table, we didn't have this. Okay, we, we, I only recently got this table. So to me, this is something that I really, really appreciated getting. So at least I could say I had the opportunity to use it and build with it. So, you know, I really, really enjoyed putting this build together. And I I can definitely see how I can have my Sims come here and they can work here. And just, yeah, they can have a lot of stories in this build. Much more functional than our hospital that we have right now. So yeah so that's my build guys this basically sums it up i will do um the screenshots as you guys know i always include my screenshots um as well as i think i've been forgetting to put floor plans on the video as well so i'm gonna make sure that i include that um but yeah this pretty much sums up the video guys we are also in i think it's april the 17th as i'm recording this video so um the new update basically comes out tonight so you guys, we are in a new month and we are going to be getting some cool new updates. So do look out for that video really, really soon. Please ignore the background noises. Um, somebody is like, I think they're maintaining their yard or whatever. So yeah, ignore that noise. But um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please subscribe. You guys know that that does help me out. Um, a lot and uh, I will see you guys in the next video much love bye